Hello dear user and welcome to not just another Toradex tutorial. Today we'll look at the Colibri Tweak tool which allows you to change various settings on your Colibri module. We'll concentrate on the speed settings and the flash layout. Download the necessary software from Toradex homepage, toradex.com. In the Downloads section, you go to Colibri Downloads, then to Colibri Software, and Colibri Tweak. Download the zip file. Unzip the file. Copy the file to your Colibri module, either using ActiveSync or a regular USB stick. I do it with ActiveSync with a simple drag and drop to the Modules Explorer. Now I can start the tool on the module. We can see the different possibilities of changes that can be made. The first block contains the settings of the CPU's speed and the bus speeds. The second block is about memory timing. The third at last is home of the display settings like resolution and pixel clock. This is the Colibri serial number. And this button takes us to the module's flash layout. So, to change any of the system clocks, click on change. Now you see the Colibri's current settings. This one's CPU is running at 312 megahertz. A part of that, you can see the system bus speed, the memory speed, the speed of the SDR RAM clock and of the LCD clock. What we want to do is to increase the CPU speed to 512 megahertz. In order to do so, increase the divider N to 2.5 and the core voltage to 1.475 volts. Save your changes. Like this, you have easily made a 520 megahertz Colibri module. Remember, Toradex does not recommend to run a 312 megahertz CPU at 520 megahertz for a long period of time. Using a native 520 megahertz Colibri, you can even go further and overclock it up to 624 megahertz. Now you have a very fast Colibri. But as before, Toradex does not recommend this setting for regular use. Now to the flash layout. The structure of the flash can be seen here. At the lowest address spaces, is a bootloader with its 256 kilobytes of reserved memory space of which only 94 kilobytes are actually used. In the config block, which is at the second place, various settings are filed that are needed by the bootloader, for instance. The third block, finally, is the largest. The image where the operating system is stored. Then follows the registry. Here the WinCE configuration can be saved to make it available after a reboot. In the last block you can create a file system. Now let's change the size of the file system. We can see the file system begins at 1540000 but the registry already ends at 103 FFFF. So, 
we can move the start of the file system closer to the registry. That's very easy. Just decrease the start address of the file system and then press apply. Now the file system begins right after the registry but still doesn't fill the whole memory. So increase the length of the file system. Now our file system fills all the formerly free space in the memory and has a total size of 15.75 megabytes. You will also need to format the flash and create a new partition before you can use the modified file system. How this works is topic of the file system tutorial. That is all for now for Colibri Tweak. Do regularly check the Toradex website for updates for this tool as well as new functionalities are regularly added. Do be careful though. Obviously, Colibri Tweak is a very powerful tool and you can easily create yourself some really big problems with it. So think about what you're changing before you click the apply button. Thanks a lot and goodbye.